you might have heard the saying, God is in the details. Well, it turns out that math is also in the details. And one tiny math error was all it took to sink this giant oil platform. That's right, this is the story of the most expensive construction project ever to be sunk, costing nearly $1.5 billion. But how did this happen? Well, let's dive in. This is the Sleipner. A. It was built in the early 90s and was a marvel of engineering. It stood taller than the Eiffel Tower and was made of reinforced concrete. Its purpose was to extract natural gas from beneath the ocean floor. And it was here that things started to go terribly wrong. You see, before opening for business, the platform had to pass a safety test. To do this, it was flooded with water to see if it would hold. And at first, it did. But as the water reached the top of the platform, something unexpected happened. Cracks began to form in the concrete walls. They quickly spread, and within minutes the walls ruptured and water poured in. The massive structure, which had been built to withstand immense water pressure, started to sink. It hit the seabed and came to rest at an angle of 45 degrees. So what went wrong? Well, after the disaster, an investigation was launched. And, as it turns out, the culprit was a small miscalculation in a computer model. You see, before the platform was built, engineers ran tests and built a mathematical formula to calculate the shear stresses within the structure. One of the walls was designed to be just 13 centimeters thick. But, because of a coding error in the computer program, the wall was only 9 centimeters thick. The program had essentially made a small math error, meaning one of the walls wasn't strong enough to handle the water pressure. But because of this error, the platform had passed its safety test. On paper, it looked safe, but in reality, it was a disaster waiting to happen. In the end, the original platform had to be scrapped and replaced at a cost of nearly $1.5 billion. That's nearly $700 million for the replacement, and another $800 million to remove the wreckage. 